Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at the viewport add-on, which is again maintained by the Storybook team. This add-on allows your stories to be displayed in different sizes and layouts, which in turn helps build responsive components inside of Storybook. Let's get started. First step, install the package. So you're on add-d at Storybook slash add-on hyphen viewport. Second step, add the package to the add-ons array in main.js. Add storybook slash add-on hyphen viewport. At this point, the viewport add-on will work, but we will only have a few screen sizes to choose from. However, we can add a lot more viewport sizes by adding a parameter in preview.js. So open preview.js and first import add parameters from storybook slash react. And then we are going to import a constant called initial viewports from the viewport add-on. So let me copy and paste the import. So it's initial viewports from the viewport add-on. Finally, we add it as a parameter using the add parameters function. So add parameters, it accepts an object. The key is viewport, which again is an object. The nested key is viewports and the value is initial underscore viewports. The import from the add-ons package. All right, we can save all the files and restart storybook. Now you can see that we have an icon to change the size of the preview. And when I click on the icon, we get a drop down with a list of devices that represent different viewports. I can select iPhone X and the canvas resizes to that of an iPhone X screen. We can also see the width and height of this viewport. If I click on the change orientation icon, we can also switch between portrait and landscape modes. As you can see, this add-on makes it really easy for you to develop and test responsive components right within Storybook. So that is about the viewport add-on. We have one final add-on to look at, so let's take a look at that in the next video.